And you at noon, the temperatures have been dipping in the borderland recently. And at one area school, parents are worried about the heating problems in the classroom. One viewer wrote us saying, quote, my kids go to school at Hacienda Heights Elementary, and it doesn't have a working heater in the entire school. I have called the school and central office, but they give me the runaround. I'm concerned since it's been cold. And not only that, they don't even have an electric heater in class to keep them warm, at least during the time they get the actual heater fixed. ABC 7 investigated to find out what's really going on. Hacienda Heights is in El Paso's Lower Valley, and it is part of the Isleta Independent School District. ABC 7's Andrew J. Polk is live with more on this ABC 7 Listens. Andrew. Yeah, good afternoon, Denise and Stephanie. We went out to the school this morning and spoke with parents and students who told us that the heat hasn't been out for days now. Because it's really cold and then they start shivering. According to the students and parents I spoke with on their way into school, the problem started two days ago when the cold weather came into our area. We're colder like this. Some parents like Terry Mendoza are keeping their kids out of school today because of it. They've been very cold in class. They don't want, they, they can't, they're just like shivering. Um, yesterday they've been complaining that there is just cold in class. They don't have no heat. They only have a small heater and that doesn't warm up the class at all. The problem, students say, is work being done to the gas line behind the school, but not everyone's aware of any problems. As of right now, my son has back complaint in reference to that. But I'll look into it, though. It's a matter of concern. Yeah. All of the parents I spoke with say that there hasn't been any notice from the school or district, but many more I spoke with said their kids were complaining about the cold temperatures in the classroom, and some students say teachers are asking for donations of heaters to deal with it. To If you can donate um, a heater to a class so it could get warm. We reached out to the district to find out what exactly is going on and received this statement in response. Quote, a gas leak was detected late last week at Hacienda Heights Elementary School and YISD maintenance crews began working immediately to resolve the issue. As a result, the school's gas was turned off and portable heaters were brought into the classrooms to keep students warm while repairs were being conducted. And according to the district, repairs have been completed and the heat is expected to be back on this afternoon after the Texas, Texas Gas Service can certify the repairs. And a note about what's been going on, we'll be going home with students tonight, again according to the district. Denise and Stephanie? Okay. It's unfortunate that it had to happen during all this cold yes, weather. Especially when we saw that very first cold snap here in the borderland. But mm -hmm. luckily it's warming up a little, but hopefully we still need to get that fixed. It's only going to get colder as, as the weeks go by.